Welcome back. Our country is, of course, pausing today to remember those who have served our country. Morning reporter Paige Blanzi is back in the studio with us for more on Veterans Day celebrations. Good morning, Paige. Luke, good morning. What makes today so special is it's the anniversary of the end of World War I, which happened at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918. It was originally called Armistice Day, but changed to Veterans Day in 1954. Right now, there's about 19.5 million, million vet veterans in the U.S. You can mark the day by attending a Veterans Day event, either virtually or in person, and personally thanking a veteran for their service. And here locally, there's a couple ways you can honor our veterans in person. At 11 this morning, a special ceremony will be outside of the Pekin Courthouse. This is the 25th anniversary of when the Veterans Monument was installed. And Hy-Vee is offering free drive through breakfast for veterans and active duty military members. It's all part of Homefront Roundup, an annual fundraiser that helps support military members and their families. Hy-Vee is expecting to serve more than 90,000 meals at more than 250 locations. Veterans will also get 10% off their grocery bills shopping at the store today. And President Trump will mark Veterans Day at Arlington National Cemetery. The President and First Lady will lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as part of the cemetery's National Veterans Day observance. The ceremony honors the men and women who have served our country both during war and peacetime. Today's ceremony is set to take place at 10 a.m. Luke, back to you.